Marvelous Engineering. Before us starting our video, if you didn't subscribe our channel, then first click on subscribe option, then click on bell icon so that you can never mistake any update. Today I am going to show you how to make a screwdriver with revelation in it. So let's start. First open assembly design. After opening assembly design, just double click here. Now click on insert, go to new part. Expand this and also expand this. After that double click here part body. Click on XY plane. You should select print on your own choice. Click a sketch. Now take a rectangle and dimension it first and second. This should be eight, and this should be equal to fifty six. Zoom it now. Just Press Ctrl button from a keyboard and select this line and this line and click here construction and standard element. Okay, after that unselect these two line. Just click outside the drawing. I am clicking here a left click. Unselected these two sketch. Now again click on this. Okay, now click on profile. Just click on center button, go some distance up. Here you have to go some distance in this way. Now up, now some distance down. Now this way, now straight, now this way, and now OK. Now dimensioning all the things. This the distance between these two point, the length of this, the angle between this and this, the length of this, the angle between these two things, the length of this, and the angle between this and this. Okay, now first click double click here and give it to value 2. After that, this 120 degree, this one should be 2 meter, this one should be 1, and this angle should be 135. This length is equal to 5, and this angle should be equal to 20 degree. Okay, I think it's enough. Now, one thing again, press control button and select this two line and click a corner. And after that, select this two point and give it radius 4 mm. Okay, okay, no problem. After that, exist from workbench. Click on soft. Click this axis. Click on preview. Click OK. After that, select this plane, ZX plane. Click on a sketch. Click here. Projected 3D silhouetted hotted edges and click on this. Okay, okay. Now, uh, now click on circle and draw a circle on this line, projected line. Okay, now take eraser, 
and erase it you have to erase this it will automatically erase okay after that and tick eraser and now give dimensioning to it and the distance between the center of circle and this and this would be equal to 0.7 and this one should be equal to 0.5 exist from workbench click on soft uh, and click on this axis here display okay click preview click ok after that click again on soft click here rectangular pattern here you have to put number stands 4 and this window between them is 1.2 and reference element should be this it will go in this direction opposite direction so you have to click on reverse button ok click preview click ok now again choose this plane click on sketch and make a circle and the distance between these two point the center and this is equal to and that dimension this this one should be equal to 12 and this one should be equal to 12.5 okay exist from workbench again click on pocket click here at mm chalega click on preview click ok just see now again click on pocket go to this arrow option click on circular pattern number of instance 4 you have to put complete crown reference element this click on reference element and click on this element click on preview ok now again choose this plane click on preview click on a sketch and draw a circle having diameter equal to 3 mm click ok and pocket it up to 30 mm okay now for looking pretty i'm going to curling it so, so first click on soft right click properties graphic curling it to height and give it to transparency okay after that clicking on this pattern step by step you have to come this click on this click properties i am curling it to pink give some transparency okay now again rectangular pattern is already i think it is colored it should be colored in same color and give it some transparency okay now again rectangular pattern happen now click on pocket right click for partage give it color to orange give it some transparency apply okay again click on circular pattern click on for partage curling into pink give some transparency click apply okay just here you have to right click this is not curling so click for partage no 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 it is also curling okay after that select this edges and coloring it to also pink apply okay now i think a pink color is not suited well
yeah this color look pretty now so I'm assigning this color and assign this to black so I am going to bring it to this color apply okay this is a light color so I'm assigning it to uh, sorry you, you have not click on the hide option if I click on hide, hide all so again right click here and click on save click on properties and I am assigning this to this color and make it also transparency so let's okay assign this color to green now just click here collapse all now again double click on product if you see this type of window open then you think you are in the product window click on insert and again click in new part okay now choose this play first expand part 2 expand this and double click on part body okay now your part 2 part body is open now here you have to select this axis and click on sketch and now you should draw a sketch first click here go to some distance some what it will be now in this way up here 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 and here now dimensioning all this one should be this should be also in dimension this should be also in dimension this 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 should be also in dimension distance between these two point and length of this and length of this okay now and a demo okay now this one should be equal to 1.5 now distance between these two and this length should be equal to 10 and this length should be equal to 15 and the distance between these two point is 0.5 and length of this should be equal to 3 and this one should be equal to 0.5 now it will make pretty so you should make any drag and you just notice on what and dimension the sequence first dimension this then this then this 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 okay now exit from workbench Click on the soft menu and again click on this. Click on preview, click OK. Now again click on this axis. Click on sketch. Okay. And now again here you have to go on the black option and click on project 3D silhouetted edges and click on this I think this is not needed here I'm sorry this is not be this is not needed here 
I'm doing a wrong activity. I'm so sorry. You have to know you have not do this. You have just simply click on this X six okay and dry axis line. Just simply dry line. Okay, now again click on rectangle and dry rectangle here and again this should be coincide with this and this also should be coincide with this and distance between these two point is equal to 0.7 only okay exist from workbench click on pocket and click preview okay now selecting this pocket click on circular pattern here so click on circular pattern here you have to go on complete crown and put it here for and now reference event should be this click preview okay now again again choose this plane get explain click on draw click on axis and draw central line now again again draw line And this should be coincide with this. Okay. Selecting these two lines. This and this should be coincide. Okay. Now dry line. And the distance between these two point and the distance between these two point should be equal to point one only, and the angle between each is equal to 50 okay now exist selecting this click on a new play and click this point okay click preview okay now after making this plane okay just click on this plane and click on a sketch and now click on axis and here you have to select this line and make a vertical line here okay should and should be coincide with this center you see it will become vertical line to the center okay now make a rectangle here sorry triangle here and now coincide this point to this point here it is and this is this should be coincide now okay after this select these two line should be symmetry to this line so first select these two line then select this line and click on symmetry okay and now the angle between these two point is equal to 80 degree okay now exist from workbench now select this rectangle sketch number six click on rib option 
and click on this center curve click preview click ok close after that click on this slot option click on circular pattern click here complete crown number option 4 and on the reference this should be selected click preview ok now screw is ready and now you have to do is that i am going to assign this okay i am going to assign this material so first go and apply material and this should be of what other uh, uh, this should be dsr star okay apply okay now we have to now again go to product double click here this type of new pair now coincide this and this circle okay which is going to be hide i am going to unhide it this should be so transparency i am again click on hide so again click on hide option for it to show click on properties and decrease transparency to zero okay now click on coincide option click this axis and sorry this axis and here you have to select circular this axis okay now offset now again the distance between plane okay so click on offset here the distance between this point and this surface should be equal to minus 30 okay now click on properties and give it to some transparency I think that okay. This is your screwdriver ready. Now I'm showing you that this will be fixed and this will revolve. First thing, so for that we have to click here fix and fix this, okay. Now three things. First, it should be coincide with each. The distance between this and this should be fixed to 30 minus 30 mm, and this should be fixed and this should be revolved. Okay. Now click on a start. Go to distance mockup and can this DMU kinematics. A start distance mockup DMU kinematics. Here to click on this tools first assembly constant conversion okay after that click on new mechanism your new mechanism click ok i have to click here auto create never forget click this click on auto create click ok expand application for now expand mechanism now expand this expand joints click here revolt okay double click here and here to click on angle driven this okay click okay okay now to click here, here simulation option now here mechanism first double click here and this should be go to this okay insert it double single a speed should be equal to 0 0.04 click on play and this it will evolve
now I'm showing something different. So delete this mechanism. You have to click on here, delete all two levels and tick here. Okay. Now again come back to assembly design. Double click on products. Click on and delete this constant also. Now in click on insert, click a new part. Sorry, new part, yes. Double click on here product. Go to insert, click on new part. Okay. Okay. Now you have to do that first click here plus also okay click on this again and hit double click here part value now choose this plane widget plane this is our widget plane and create a new plane with reverse direction of a length equal to somewhat 80 okay it is right 80 mm click ok now choose this plane and click on a sketch dry rectangle okay exist and pad this to Okay, pad it. First, you have to pad it to 5 mm. Mirror extended, you have to click on mirror extend. Okay, click on apply, click OK. After choose this plane, click on a sketch. This should be 3 mm. Now click on pocket and for a minute, enter. This circle preview. Okay. Now it is showing pocketing here. Okay. After that, double click here. You have to select this surface, not this plane for making this pocket here because this plane is middle. So you have to select this surface and draw the circle and pocket it to 4 mm. Okay, now let's see what you have to do. First, you have to click here, fix together. Okay, and fix part 1 and part 2 together and click OK. After that, Again, click here on side. Here, look on side, and this should be on side with this. Okay. And another thing you have to do is that click here fix and fix this. Last. Okay. Now come back to digital mockup and kinematics. And hide this. Uh, it's disturbing too much. So hide all. Hide. 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 And hide. No. First, have to click on this assembly constant conversion. Click on new mechanism and never forget to click on auto create. Click on auto create, click OK. Now, expand the mechanism, expand join, and here looks cylindrical. Just double click here. Okay. 
okay just open now you have to click on both angle driven and lens driven angle should be this and the lens should be lower limit is minus 4 and upper limit is 4 okay just click ok my kingdom come is simulated click ok now click on your simulation now just look what happens here okay now click on mechanism it will go 4 mm down you should one thing you do is that uh, first to go to assembly window and make a offset first to hide this okay click here offset and click this point okay and so it should be offset to this point with minus 4 mm sorry 4 mm sorry offset is our wrong you have to done that click on offset and this point should be offset to this point hard this hard this it was so small so i'm facing problem let's see now again i'm doing try to do it i could do it that the, the offset of this point To this surface the bottom of your uh, pocket it is a firm so don't firm him this surface have to select remember the pocketing down surface this is not this surface the down surface have to select okay so the offset of this two point the point this one and this one should be of 4 mm okay sorry it should be of 0 mm put it 0 okay click okay now you have to do that after offsetting it you have to delete this offset first to do offset after that just delete it First, you have to do an offset of these two points to be 4 mm, 0 mm. After that, delete this offset. Just delete this. Okay. Now, again, come to digital mockup, digital kinematics. And if you do, if you already done simulation here, just uh, you, uh, I'm deleting this, I'm showing again. After that process of setting, Just delete and untick it all change and okay? After offsetting all the things, you have to come on digital mockup kinematics, and after that you have to click on here assembly constant conversion, new new mechanism or okay, and never forget to create auto create offset. Just click on auto create, click it, click okay. After that. You have to double click here 
have to click on both the things and that this should be of minus 4 to 4 because your pocket is 4 so you have to put 4 okay now click okay my user was submitted if if you get this simulation then it will confirm that our body will rotate click okay now let's see you i'm showing you now click on simulation option here click mechanism you have to put it to here minus 60 minus 4 okay now insert it should be in both the direction speed so 0.04 the plate let's see it will move up also and rotate and up down so just do it at home with all the things i have done in this video do it at home and if you face any problem related to that you said comment below or also email me okay Thank you.